Exactly. Exactly. But I'm just I'm trying to walk it back. Beloved. Community members. Friends. Trans and non-binary siblings. Allies and accomplices in liberation. Welcome here. My name is Michaela Hoffman. I use they, them pronouns, and I welcome you to this space of mourning, of memory, of brokenness, of healing, of love. We gather tonight on the traditional lands of the Neponset Band of the Massachusetts tribe, a people who have lived here for generations and who live here now. Tonight, this Transgender Day of Remembrance, we gather to honor and remember those transgender and non-binary beloveds whose lives were stolen from us in acts of violence in the last 12 months. We uplift their joy, their pain, their hearts, their beauty, their sparkle, and their life-giving authenticity. Their lives, however short for many, laid the groundwork for trans and non-binary people who remain and who will follow. Here, we affirm with our presence and loving hearts that hatred isn't the transgender, nor non-binary, nor genderqueer, nor non-gender -confir non confirming or conforming story. It was not the story of those who are gone from us. No. Theirs, ours, is a story of living courageously, living out the core of our authenticity, as is the birthright of every single human being. So, well met, dear ones. Whether you gather in mourning, in witness, in sorrow, or in hope, welcome. It does my heart a lot of good to see you all here. Before I introduce our co-sponsors, co-organizers, um, I want to invite folks, if you're feeling like your legs need a little bit of a break, if you are a standing person, you are welcome uh, to take a seat. Um, there are a few chairs up here, and uh, please do let one of our greeters, can our greeters put their hands up for us? Thanks, awesome. Let one of, let one of our greeters know, and they'd be happy to bring you a chair if there's no more. Thank you. I would like to introduce some of the co-organizers co and co-sponsors for this Trans Day of Remembrance Vigil with gratitude for all they've done to make tonight possible. <laughs> of the Quincy Interfaith Steering Committee, Reverend Rebecca Froome and Reverend uh, Matt Thomas. Well, uh, maybe y'all can put your hands up or stand and be acknowledged. We acknowledge um, our Quincy LGBTQ Commission of the City of Quincy. If there are any members here, welcome and thank you. Uh, I want to welcome Patty and Jim Mortimer of the Quincy P Flag chapter. And uh, I also welcome Richard Ash, a uh, new city councilor elect uh, and um, organizer for QPRA. And we also warmly welcome representatives from the Massachusetts Behavioral Health Helpline for important providers of crisis assistance to all living in Massachusetts. Um, many thanks for them being here. Following this vigil, we will invite you all to a much warmer place, um, our parish hall, uh, through these doors and through our sanctuary um, for a time of connection and resource sharing. Um, our community partners uh, will be there um, and have information about their programs. Do feel free to say hi to them. Thank you all. I now invite the Reverend Rebecca Froome to share our opening invocation. Let's take a deep breath together. 
And these are opening words of invocation from Reverend Sunshine Jeremiah Wolf, gender queer and transgender minister at the Unitarian Universalist Congregational Field Staff for the Central East Region. And throughout these words of invocation and throughout this evening, we invite you to listen to these words for the language of faith and conviction most meaningful to you. Sunshine writes, on this transgender day of remembrance, we remember those who have been murdered for being who they are, those who face violence on a daily basis, those who have lost loved ones, and those who worry for loved ones. May we come to a time when we cease to shame children around gender roles and expression, where we allow for freedom and exploration of identity and expression, and to a world that operates from love, especially when things are difficult and confusing. May all of us who live with the threat of violence find support strength, community, hope, and safety. May it be so. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tony Winters. I go by he, him, and they, them pronouns. I am a singer-songwriter from Bridgewater, Massachusetts. I did not write the song you are about to hear. The original tune is actually an old Irish folk song, but the lyrics were bravely written by a singer-songwriter from Ireland named Clay, centered around the story of someone they knew. This is a song called You Wish, You Wish. You wish, you wish, but all in vain. You wish I was a maid again. But a maid again I ne'er shall be Till apples grow on orange trees I wish I had no fear to go Free as a bird to fly but like a ghost, fear haunts my dreams, and I am not the maid I see. Oh, grief, oh, grief, so many lives. can live their lives in a liberty. Dig me a grave and dig it deep. Lay a cobblestone, both head and feet. Inscribe my name as So all shall know I died a man. You wish, you wish, but all in vain. You wish I was a maid again, but I never was a maid. You 
Our vigil this evening was named intentionally for remembrance and resilience. At this time, we'd like to uplift the lives of transgender and non-binary people who are alive today, who experience the fullness and breadth of their authenticity amidst these tumultuous times for our community. As our community mourns, we too are resilient in the face of hatred. We choose love tonight for those who've passed on and for all of us who remain. I will now share a piece entitled Poem, Let Us Live by J. Jennifer Espinoza, a trans woman, poet, author, and professor. Her experience is lifted tonight with love and reverence. I'm tired of abstraction. No one says what they mean and people die from it. Where did this world come from? Not nowhere. Not nothing. The dead trans woman you glance over for a few seconds on Facebook while deciding if the story is worth sharing all came from somewhere. Their bodies are not flowers for you to whisper to people you'll never know. There were words that did this. There were hands and guns and teeth and flesh and hair and blood and men and women and laws and policies and police and witnesses that did this. How long can I keep tricking you into thinking what I'm doing is poetry and not me begging you to let us live. Beloved, our time of the remembrance has come of those stolen from this life far too soon, from the brutal realities of anti-transgender hatred and violence rampant in our country today. In 2023 alone, 586 bills have been introduced in every state in the United States, including Massachusetts, and 85 have been passed. 
For comparison, last year there were 174 bills introduced in 33 states and 26 passed. Indeed, these patterns of legislation tell us that it is a dangerous time to be trans and or non-binary. The vast majority of those being named this evening who lost their lives in transphobic violence are Black, Indigenous, Hispanic, Latinx, and other people of color. The vast majority were under the age of 35 when they died. The disease of transphobia has a disparate impact, but be assured, all of our love, our heartache, our resolute determination to dispel hatred is for every single person, especially those BIPOC beloveds most impacted. So let our hearts be open this evening in loving memory. We'll begin by honoring those whose lives were stolen from us in acts of transphobic violence starting with those murdered last October and ending in September of this year. I invite Reverend Alyssa Olson and Kimberly Murphy, I believe, to come and read these names of these beloveds while Richard Ash and Patty Mortimer light our candles. And after each name, we will toll the church bell, the city bell, here in the hearts of Quincy. Tiffany Bates, age 25. Daniel Davis Aston, age 28. Kelly Loving, age 40. Diamond Jackson McDonald, age 27. Destiny Howard, age 23. Marquise M.J. Jackson, age 33. Kaylee Love Light, age 27. Jasmine Star Mack. Age 36. Casey Johnson, age 27. Manuel Tehran, Portuguita, age 26. Maria Jose Rivera, age <laughs> Unique Faith. Age 
Shay Henderson, age 31. Tasia Sia Woodland, age Ashley Virgin, age 37. Rashida Williams, also known as Coco Dadal, age 35. Banco Paso, also known as Banco Brown, age 24. Ome Gandhi, age 16. Ashia Davis, age 34. Chanel Perez Ortiz, also known as Kobe Duff, age 29. Jacob Williams, Michelle Dione Pita, age 59. Colin Smith, age 32. Grinnell Mary Mora, age 26. Camden Ryder, age 21. Devani Jure Johnson, age 28. Luis Angel Diaz Castro, age 22. Lovely Page, age 54. Thomas Robertson, also known as Tom Tom, age 28. Asia Banks, age unknown. Alexa Andrevna Silva, age 34. Yoko, age 30.
We will now honor both trans and non-binary beloveds who died by suicide. We recognize that their deaths were the product of hatreds, emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical violence upon them. This list begins with those lives lost last October and ending in September of this year. And I invite Rabbi Benjamin and Sister Tess to read these names. Braden Snyder, age 15. Miles Fitzpatrick, age 17. Adeline Anderson, age 24. Morgan D, age 32. Henry Berg Rousseau, age 24. Levi Martin, age 17. Gwen Gatewood, age 22. Caitlin Newman Earhart, okay. age 19. Chamberlain, age unknown. Maya Elena Lauren Knight, age 20. Michael Ray, age unknown. Catherine Wheeler, Age 35. Tree Crane, 1718. Theodora Cassidy, or Thea, age 18. Aaron Ezra Young, age 24. We will now light two final candles. One for those trans and non-binary beloveds who were not able or had not yet expressed their true sexual or gender identities at the time of their death. And we light another candle for those whose deaths go unreported, unsolved, mischaracterized, or who are still under investigation. Rest in power, rest in love, rest in the glory that is your truth. We commit you to the resting place of our ancestors, of those lost to us in the violence of decades past, and those who were taken from us in the wake of the AIDS crisis in the United States, who we will honor on December 1st. And at this time, if you haven't done so already, you're welcome at this time 
to light your candle. And if you don't have one, please do see one of our greeters and they will make sure to bring you one. You can turn it on by twisting the bottom knob and it should turn it on when it's tight at the bottom. May these candles be lit and raised in love, in light, in power. Beloved dead, you will never be forgotten. And I invite Reverend Kim forward to give our closing prayer. Will you lift your hearts and join me in the spirit of prayer? Listening in these words for the language of faith most meaningful to you. Beloveds, in our gathering this evening, let us celebrate, uplift, and uphold human dignity. Let that acknowledgement of the worthiness of all, indivisible from our existence, radiate from this place today. May we remember those who left this world too soon, not knowing or having experienced the truth of their words and their work, especially those transgender and non-binary siblings gone from us. We remember them in love and power on this transgender day of remembrance. May our words spoken today, this evening, and always reach them. Those words that say, I will love you forever. And now we make space and commit ourselves to protecting the dignity of all. May we do so in abiding love. Amen. song with me. It will be easy for you to learn. And as you do, I invite you to welcome into your hearts all of those trans siblings who you may know, who you may not know. This is I Need You to Survive.
Say out the words so that you know them before each line. I need you. I need you. You need me. You need me. We're all a part of the body. Stand with me. Stand with me. Agree with me. Agree with me. We're all. We're all.